The dog's real mad. Can you pet it? Dog's real mad. Can you pet the dog? I don't know. Good try. You wanna find out? You wanna find out? Yeah. 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 As long as you don't, like, slice it up with your sword. <laughs> oh, that- I petted the dog. That's not- You can pet the dog! That is not how you pet a dog. If that is how you've been petting dogs all along, I have some fucking phone calls to make. <laughs> Whoa! Well, the dogs are That's gone. totally okay. They got pet by gravity. The dogs yeah. are gone. Oh no, now that guy's mad too. Yeah, you killed his three dogs! Hang on. Have you ever been to a petting zoo? Let me just fix all of this. No. Let well, me don't just- Don't go with Brad. I won't. <laughs> okay, everything's better now. Because cool. I rested at this bonfire. That's, that's the sculptor's idol. I don't know oh, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, no. Uh, hello. Hi. This is uh, Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Although, in my experience so far, it's been more like Sekiro, you die over and over and over. Yay! This game's really hard. It's the new From Software game. You've heard of them. Yeah. Uh, where are they from? Wait, it's From Software. From. From what software? This game is from, from, from. Oh, God. These are, I think these are actually more wolves Now than the dogs. dogs are petting you. I would say. Whoa. Parry that dog. I don't know if you can parry the dogs. I can try. Also, there's two dogs. This could be tough. Wait, hang on. All right. Do it. Okay. You yeah. can totally parry the dogs! Hell yeah. Man, I killed the hell out of that. Actually, is that a wolf? Uh. I parried the wolf. I sliced the wolf's throat open. I'm wolf, actually, it turns out. I am known as Wolf. Your character in this game is known as Wolf. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, you are kind of pledged to a child lord who is known as the Divine Heir. All right. Who has basically been taken by the Ashna clan. I hate when that happens. And yeah. I have to go get him back. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do. By yourself. And I have a grappling hook. Oh. This game is pretty different from their other games. Obviously, from software, they of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And those, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and Kingsfield, Demons, Souls, Kingsfield, you know, those games. Oh right, uh, yeah. No, this is not at all like Kingsfield. You're right. Yeah. But like, okay, so I still my attack is still on R one. That's the same. Got it. But I have a jump. Okay. Do you have a jump uh, attack? There's no roll. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. No roll. Yeah, there's no roll. You got to dodge. Uh. I don't want to just sit here and say what is the same and different the whole time, but like, so you got quick use, like this is the the healing gourd is the equivalent of my Estus flask, so that's, so that's the same. Mm -hmm. But no equipable weapons and armor. Like your sword is just your sword, as far as I've seen so far. Okay, so items are like uh, one-time use things that you're picking up? Uh, well, the, the, those are kind of the same types of consumables as in the first, or not the first game, geez, the, the previous games yeah. from the developer. Um, there's some similarities and a lot of differences, basically. Also, I should say that I just we just got this game this morning mm -hmm. at the time of this recording. Yeah. So, really still figuring it out. So, you can help me out here. What do you say? Uh, you can hang from the ledge. Yep, you can hang from ledges. Uh, you should go pet the dogs. Climb back up. Do a tent you. Uh, this game is more than a little tent you. <laughs> like, you can stealth in grass. Mm hmm. You have a grappling hook to yes. get up to rooftops. There's a lot of rooftop I action. Dude dude left I have already unlocked the Shurikens. All right. All right, I'm just going to play the game a little bit. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, uh, what's up? Uh, you like hiding? No. You can do this. Can you knock on the wall? You can straight up do this. Uh, I don't think so. Can you so. throw a rock? You can absolutely throw ceramic shards. Is a fistful of ash just like confuse or yes? Ceramic shards Toxic and fistful of ash are both. Just, is it Fuji dust? Are, are both just throw things? Oh, I don't want to throw while these guys are on their patrol route. Can you fushigi? Hang on, let me just wait for these guys to go by, and then I will stop hugging the wall and, and start hugging that guy. And I'm gonna go kill that guy. Oh, so uh, we pet him. Okay, yeah. Can you pet the guy? Uh, let's find out. Oh God! I petted the guy. You're like Lenny from Mice and Men. I petted the guy. Hmm. Uh, so, in my limited experience so far, combat can get wild very quickly in this game because the enemies are aware of your presence from a much greater distance. Okay. Than in a lot of the other From games, uh, you'll see stealth indicators. Let me see if I can execute them. This guy has a gun. He's a real bastard. I can tell you from experience. 
Okay, so I managed to kill. Oh, actually, you see that stealth indicator up over the yeah, guy's head now? Yeah. So it's yellow, so he just kind of suspects he's coming to check it out. But it's like it's that. It's you know. Right. Do you have to like, drag of, bodies and hide bodies and no, stuff? No, no. It it's not. It's not. Game? It's not that deep into stealth. Okay. But. Uh, the key thing is just like all these enemies you see wandering around here and up there like if I make a ruckus They all can very quickly become aware of it, and then you're fighting like eight guys at once. Okay, and they kill you fast. Yeah um, so uh, Again not super far into the game at all, but in my oh no no don't turn. Oh uh, well, okay he turned all right It's on let's fight fight them. Let's fight uh, so that's a parry well, that's Did not you a parry, parry and that's not a, successfully punish him? That's not a parry, yeah. Well, so I was going to try to explain, but now see, like I said, there's oh man. What? Wait, yeah. wait hang on. Uh, can you pet the giant uh, hammer man? Bad idea. I tried it once. <laughs> it's not a... Nope. Let's just... So, oh. You do have mobility like you have not had in, in From games. Will they um, ever? So that helps. De aggro. Yes. yes, they will go. They will go from their like angry state back to. Uh, is that guy throwing something at me? Um, I like that you can grapple in midair. Yeah, that's, that's cool. While while you jump. Um, yeah, if if I hide for long enough and their their triangles go back to yellow, they will just kind of assume a patrol routine, uh, and then eventually sort of leave you alone. Okay, which helps. Uh, so I spent a lot of time in this area right here, just fighting these guys over and over, trying to get a <laughs> feel for how the enemies work. And how would you say that feel is? Uh, usually they're pretty effective at killing you. Occasionally they lose their footing, though, let's say. Hey, it's, you know, it's a dangerous time. It's, it's snowy here, you know, it's probably pretty slippery on that <laughs> ledge. Uh, so yeah, like they kind of have backed off at this point. I think I could, let's go see, oh, nope, I think somebody might have just seen me again. Whoa. Uh, hmm. Okay. He's just throwing rocks at you? Yeah. It's a real jerk. Yeah, hey! I, I see you up there! I got you. It, it seems like it's a really good idea to try to get through an area quietly and assassinate as many people as you can before they become active, because they will murder you so fast. Um, and there are, there's a skill tree I'll show you that there are some skills on there to like kind of make you more effective in stealth. Can you still kill that big guy? Yes. So that was the revelation, is that I got to the point where I could get rid of all these guys pretty effectively, but that guy was just working me, and then there was a time... Oop. Okay, I think it's going to be hard to talk and fight these guys all at the same time, because this game is very timing-based. Nope. Missed that. What is that bar in the middle? That That's the thing I was going to explain, but... Sure. Hang on. <laughs> Need to heal. Going to be really tough with this guy, three guys on me. I'm totally in a corner. No. Do you have any sort of like smoke bombs? Uh, or? kinda not really. I've got distraction items, and that's about it right now. I do have throwing stars, like that. But got them. Let's, let's see if I can. This is kind of what I was saying. You should avoid, yeah, if at all possible. Just five guys, just like slowly, yeah, meandering your direction. I'm just gonna die and start this over and actually kill the guys instead of trying to explain the game. So there's an interesting resurrection mechanic. Those two red pips down there on the left mean that I can resurrect. Uh, uh -huh. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and die. Back to the idol. Okay. Not the bonfire. And um, what is resurrecting? So, I'll show you real quick. Uh, oh no! I'm even more rotten than I was before! Disgusting. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that sucks. Uh, huh, okay. Well, I already have one dragon rot, now I have two. Uh, where do they put those? Under key items? Yeah. See, I've got rot, essence, sculptor, and timid <laughs> That's a bummer. Um, so, the, that blue bar in the lower right down there? Basically, that's just kind of XP you're earning off the enemies. Uh, and every time you get a skill point, you can cash that in on the skill tree. You also so basically every time you die, you lose half of your XP and half of your money. Okay. And they do not drop on the ground to be picked back up; they're just gone. Oh. oh. It is rough. Uh, that unseen aid there is your chance of not losing that stuff. If that procs when you die, you just don't lose your stuff. But every one of these rots that you pick up brings that number down. I started at thirty percent. Now I'm down to thirteen. Uh, wow. So that's how that works. Um, 
Is there a way to clear the essence? I'm from guessing you? they the so yeah. There's a hub area with NPCs. Like that stuff's all very from, and and they have kind of obliquely made reference to maybe kind of purging yourself of that stuff. Okay. Uh, but they certainly did not come out and tell me how to do it. Um, so I have one skill tree, the Shinobi skill tree. It sounds like there are two more that I will unlock later. Uh, but here, like, I got this kind of whirlwind move that I can hit multiple people with. Here I got this parry that will parry thrusts, because you can't parry thrust moves off the bat. Mm. Uh, so basically there are, god, like I said, still learning this game. There are martial arts, there are latent effects, and then there are combat moves. So this combat move I had to equip in a slot, and the other two are like passives. Uh, should I just keep playing the game? Yeah. Like, it's, it's a lot to take in when I have just started playing the game myself. Yeah, it seems I'm like not, a... I'm not too far past this. I'm a little bit past it. Let's just play. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to, like, actually try to get through this area and not just explain everything I'm doing. Uh, so that bar um, that you were asking about is the posture meter. Mm -hmm. And basically every time I hit a guy, even when they're blocking, you see that, that meter go up because you're trying to... The, the, the combat is all about breaking people's posture because when you do that, they become vulnerable to a death blow. Okay. Which is basically just a one-hit kill. Um, so the combat is not necessarily always... It's generally not about whittling a guy's health bar down. It's about breaking that meter. And then, and then just stabbing them through oh. the throat. Huh. Um, Interesting. So this red dot, like you just saw when I stealth killed that guy. Also, check this out. Could loot guys from very far away. Whoa. Like way farther than that, actually. It's kind of crazy. I wish I could do that. Um, so that red dot when I stealth kill is basically the same red dot as if I were to break somebody's posture and, and get the... Uh... <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there? Let's see if I can... All right, so that's a parry. Now he's dead. Wow. Yeah. So, like, that's how the combat generally works in this game. Sure. From what I've seen so far. So it's uh, less about, like, wait for your moment, hit them, get nope, away, wait slow. for your moment, too slow. get away. And more of, like, one quick engagement. Man, I'm really fucking this up. You can also just kind of cheese it. Like, you can see that guy's posture meter is almost full. Yeah. Even though I've just kind of been wailing on him while he's blocking. Okay, so yeah. that's what I was going to ask. That's his posture meter, and your posture meter is the one in the bottom. Yeah, so I ultimately got the kill, the death blow, even though I totally did a terrible job of parrying that guy. I'm sorry, what was the question? The bar in the middle is your posture yes, bar? Yes, okay. yes. So you can also be kind of incapacitated, but you can roll out of it when that happens, so that's not an instant kill for you. Okay. Uh, so they mitigated it a little bit that way. But it is definitely a disadvantage. You yeah, can't just stand there and block. When they, yeah, when they when they break your posture, you're basically on the ground for a couple seconds, and mm. then you kind of get the chance to roll out of it from there. All right, so you can eavesdrop on people. Oh, that huh. little that little check mark means that I already heard what they had to say. Uh, you can stealth kill people from jumps or from ledges, but you kind of have to do it mid jump, and it doesn't. It's kind of hard to trigger. Let's see. There, like that. Oh wow! But you have to wait for the dot to yeah. show up, like while you're in midair. It's not. It's not an instant. Just hit a button and it happens. Right. That's so cool. It's not Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you have to. Of. You have to. There's a skill to it for sure. That's neat. Yeah. It's it's a very technical skill. Bit. Oh god. Oh yeah, the gun. guy. Also, there's the gun guy. Like, oh, <laughs> this fucking game, man. Oh. Some guys seem to have a lot more posture than others. I'm excited to see what they do with enemy design, because I feel like Japan, Japanese lore is like a cool place to pull from for a from game. Like, all, there's all sorts of fucked up demons. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, like it's interesting because it's a lot more grounded. I mean, it's set in real Japan. You know, right. like every other from game is in some kind of fan, fantastical made up land. And this is just a Japan, feudal Japan. Yeah. War torn. Uh, with kind of fighting, you know, warring clans and stuff. Uh -huh. Oh no! Uh, but there are there like the supernatural stuff seems more around the edges. You know, like I'm I've got the dragon rot. Right. And there are references to Buddha and stuff like that. I wonder if this will cure your rot by talking to her, or if you have to go on a quest for her. Yeah, if you have to protect her master. I actually talked to her before, and she was not in... 
Mama. Such a state. Can you kill NPCs? Uh, I haven't tried. You know, I'm gonna throw the save away so we can find out. Never gonna cure the dragon rot if you don't do her bidding. Uh, she actually gave me a bell that I'm supposed to offer to my dude back at my kind of... Oh, okay. Cool. Alright. <laughs> oh, cool. Coughed up blood. <laughs> uh... All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that totally is actually uh, yeah working toward getting rid of my dragon rod. Uh, yeah, Lady Emma's kind of like my doctor character back at my uh, hub area. Also, this is this lady's son. Like she she has she's losing her mind over there while he's laying here too injured to actually make it to her. Mm. The game is pretty grim. Uh, it defaults to Japanese, like there's a little pop-up when you start a new game saying, hey, the default language is Japanese, you can change it if you want, but they clearly want you to. Mm. Like, it's got the English VO, but they clearly huh. want you to play it uh, this way. All right, let's press forward unless you want me to go try to kill that big ogre thing. Nah. Okay. Um, I actually could just warp ahead to where I'm at, but... Uh, so what's up with the revive mechanic? Uh, so you get one of the one of those refreshes uh, whenever you rest at an idol. Uh -huh. um, they say the other one you build up through combat, and like it does refill when you kill people. Oh god, that, there's a cannon dude up there shooting at me. Um, but uh, I feel like they've both been refilling at, or maybe I just haven't been using them both that much. Some grapple points you can't jump on; they just kind of fling you across. Uh oh. Huh. Nice. Oh shit, I <laughs> just stealth killed this guy the first time. This seems rough. Huh. Eh. Ow. Yep. The idea of a Souls type of game with a little more focus on maneuverability is you're, really Yeah, you're so much more mobile and it's so much more about uh, timing and parrying and, and precision. And also, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but there seems like there's some almost fighting game. Ooh. Uh, there's almost fighting game-esque kind of technical qualities to it. Yeah. Um, goodbye. Because uh, like I said, there's like there's that move in the skill tree I got that lets you parry thrusts because by default you can't. Right. So there are different types of moves. Some are parryable, some are not. Uh, the first boss I fought, or mini-boss, uh, there are unblockable or unparryable moves. And the enemies, whoa, there's like an icon that'll signal when they're about to do one. Um, but this guy in particular, his unparryable move... Shit! Oh, guys, going ham. Yeah, let me just kind of. Okay, all right, dealt with. Um, I love looting like this. So good. After you got that kill, uh, you got a little like orb-looking thing around you that looks like the ones in the bottom left. I wonder if that would have replenished one. That might have, yeah, because you do get get kind of built that up. But uh, the thing I was gonna say is that that mini boss I fought had a an unblockable like sweeping attack. So in his case, I had to like just hop over it. Oh yeah. And then I could wade in and really do a lot of damage on his posture. Mm -hmm. Uh, to the point that it seems like you'll like learn those patterns and then know like you know uh, they say like you know sweeping attacks you want to jump over like thrusting attacks you want to dodge out of the way of and stuff like that. Sure. Some enemies do aerial attacks and you can punish those. Um, the way they talk about those moves and the way that you counter them almost sounds like a fighting game to me. It hmm. actually seems really cool. So uh, there's some some other kind of unconventional storytelling for these types of games. Anyway. Do you have any Echo idea? Reconstructed. Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, about the, I mean, I, probably not, but I remember them speaking in an interview about this game. Um, they were kind of saying, you know, we know people love playing Dark Souls over and over again, so we wanted to make sure this game offered a lot in terms of replayability. Do you have any idea about that? Um, it's tough to say. I guess it depends on. Yeah, let me see what they have to say here. If you're fire. Do you have any sort of fire moves? Or like uh, a not torch? Not, not really yet. Um, I guess it, to answer your question, I guess it depends on how much variety there is in the skill tree. Yeah. But it also, from what I've seen, it seems like you could just kind of grind all the abilities out on the skill tree. Again, like very early in the game, I can't say for sure. Right. Um, I, I know there is crafting, so... This might be kind of hard to see, but I have a mechanical arm. 
Oh yeah. And yeah. that's what my grappling hook is in. Huh. Um, that's also where my little throwing star kind of contraption is. Cool. Um, let me pop back here. So like I said, I mean, there's there's the general upgrades is like like I said, I think you get two more of these trees. I got the shinobi basically like tome or mm -hmm. text that unlocked this one, so I think you'll be finding the books for the other two. Uh, but you could, from what I can tell, just grind out skill points to kind of get all of these. Huh. Right. Maybe and later enemies have yeah. higher XP uh, given. Uh, you get uh, prayer beads to boost your health, I believe. Um, like, it's pretty straightforward. You're boosting your health and your attack power, and you're buying those skills. Uh, what are memories? I haven't, I don't think it's told me what those do yet. Uh, let's pop back to the hub real fast. Um, but so I know you like I'm, I'm already getting tool tips for other gadgets that will attach to that mechanical arm oh. like there is a uh, so they, they mentioned like some enemies have wooden shields and wooden hats and you can't break those with your regular weapons it's gonna ask do you think you ever get a flamethrower arm yeah. so, so no <laughs> that'd be pretty good uh, there's a there's like a um, some kind of axe like a split axe or something attachment for your arm and that's what you use to break those wooden protection hmm. type things huh. お主と。はい。お主と苦労様の幻を見た。幻。ああ。苦労様は今はどこにいる。足名の城。その天使 got a really good just like grim super reverent kind of tone to it like yeah. samurai movie kind of thing. Yeah. Like th this guy is the kind of guy who like like you go up to an NPC and they ask your name and he just answers by going ugh. <laughs> like, he doesn't want to tell people his name. Like he's he's very very serious. Uh... <coughs> yeah. It's going around. I got it and I gave it to my wife and then she got it and gave it back to me. Okay, skip through this a little bit. So I've got I got that blood sample that I picked up that I think has to go to that doctor lady, and I've also got the bell that the old lady gave me. Mm. Okay. Oh, is this where I? Okay, this might be where I offer the bell. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I get out of this. Mm. Also, you have amnesia. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's all these. There's all these references to like uh, some infamous night where you did something, some bad stuff happened, but you don't know anything about it. And every time you ask somebody about it, they're just like, "We'll talk about it later." <laughs> oh, huh. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, that's okay. Okay, this is unexpected, but hmm. here we are. Like, it's definitely a much more straightforward style of storytelling than I've seen out of their stuff in the past. Huh. Interesting that there's an idol here, because that implies I can just come back here whenever? Weird. Huh. Am I traveling through time and space? Sure. <laughs> why not? If you're doing one, why not do the other? Yeah, uh, sure. Well, that looks bad. Yeah, don't go there. I guess the only place I can go. Hmm. Oh, geez. Right. <laughs> so I'm not used to being able to just do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff's cool. Yeah. It's it's a it's cool to have this kind of mobility in, in a game of this style. Also, 
Also, like some dialogue options here and there. Like it's kind of a Souls game, but kind of not. Yeah. If somebody ever asked me what year it was, I would just tell them and then follow them. Just assume that they are, <laughs> assume they are a time traveler. Yeah. That person's gonna get up to some shit. Who needs to know? I guess it's probably better if they're traveling from the future back to the past because then they're probably gonna like go bet on some sports matches or something. You can get in on that. Oh yeah, definitely follow them around. <laughs> they're traveling from the past to the future though, like... Ugh. Yeah, like... You'd have to explain the oh, internet boy. to them. <sighs> Don't know who that is, but he probably needs to die. It's a safe bet. Hey guys. Uh, okay. For a, a brief moment there, I thought that guy was just actually on fire. I thought it was nude. Well, not the hat. A the burning chest naked plate, man. But... Oh boy. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight somebody who is on naked, naked or on fire. So if they are both. Oh, that was unblockable. If they're both, just stand back and let it happen, and then they won't be a problem for long, right? I mean. Yeah. Well, I picture them as a sort of a uh, oh God, I'm on serious fire. Sam run at you. Yeah. With their dying breath. Nice. Right. Yeah. What's that purple meter there? Uh, I guess it's fire. It's the first time I've seen it, but that reminds me of like the poison meters from Dark Souls. Sure. Mm. Uh, where it builds up slowly, and once it fills, is when you're afflicted. Okay. That works. Where are you? Fine. You pet the dog. That was not, it's not petting the dog. I'm not gonna let you have any dogs anymore either. I mean, how do you define a pet? Um, it's like a gentle touch that, uh, I'm gonna say general, you know, uh, I, I would define a pet as it's, it doesn't kill the, it does not kill the dog. Mm. Oh, there's an item down there. I'm not gonna waste time going and get it now, but uh. So as long as the dog's alive, okay, I got you. It doesn't hurt. Oh well, it, it now shouldn't you're, hurt. Now the you're dog. changing the definition on me. I'm I'm still talking. I'm it's it's I'm still I'm still talking over here. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, this game's got a style to it. Those guys aren't happy. Well, let me pray real quick. That's right, I sat down at your statue, now what are you gonna do? So do the enemies respawn when you do that? Uh, only if you rest, I didn't, I didn't oh. hit rest, so, but they do, yeah, they do all respawn, like, soul style, if you... Because that refills your healing flask and all that stuff. Sure. It's got flaming arrows, that's not cool. Mm. Have you found an enemy that is way, way too strong for you to fight and you just had to kind of run away? No, from? it's been pretty linear so far. Again, whoa, God help me. God can't help you. Ah! Past. This is okay. Now I am gonna go rest, or just die. They pet you and just respawn. Yep. With, that's a pet with arrows, arrows in my butt. When they hit you with fire. So what happens when you revive? Uh, it just burns one of those pips, and you come right back to life. Yeah. Right, right uh, there. Yes. Like you kind of stand yes. back up. Literally okay. stand right back up. Okay. Uh, the bummer is that if you have like like when I was fighting that giant ogre club kind of guy you saw earlier mm. or, uh, at one point, like I had whittled his posture down to like just down to the breaking point, and then he killed me. But time continues to flow while you're like hammering on the button trying to respawn. Oh yeah. By the time I was back up and able to move again, he had almost fully recovered. So Ugh. that that kind of sucks. Uh, that's something to know. God, those guys out front are... Yeah. Oh, well... Hopefully they can't get in here. How do we open the door? They just told us don't let anyone inside. Yeah. But what if you Everything, yeah, inside? that's fine. Um... Yeah, to answer your question about, uh, like, powerful enemies that I had to just back off of, like, the game has been super linear so far. Like, it hasn't had that... 
quite as much. Oh my god, quite as much of that branching feel as yeah. some of their other games. I wonder if that's something that's just for the beginning of the game and it'll yeah, start to I'd, branch I'd, out. Yeah, I hope it does because I like exploring in these games. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, so he knocked me down there, obviously. Damn it. Still getting a feel for this parry stuff. So is it like tap to parry, hold the block? Yeah, yeah, it's it's. And that what? part works the same as their other games. Ah. It's what, one attack button. The big difference is they just make you do it all the time now. Right. Yeah. Is it, is it one attack button or? Uh, yeah. It's just yes. Or? It's just just the one attack button. Uh, it seems like the, all the combat variety is really in the the skills that you unlock. Mm. Yeah. Which I just don't have a lot of. Like I have this, which is not the That's worst. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. Wow. Well. It's like cutting a guy, but you do it twice. Yeah, so right. that'll, that, you know, obviously that'll hit uh, multiple people, which I have actually found to be very helpful, because mm. you kind of need some crowd control. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so get a fair amount of that, so, you know, I assume there will be shortcuts and some exploration and stuff. Oh, oh. Gotta hug this wall and peer around it and mm -hmm. see what's happening. You have a worse view. <laughs> Turn around. Throw a ceramic. Oh yeah, I totally should. Uh, I don't know how to aim it actually. I mm. guess you just just like that. Yep, nailed it. You just kind of point the. I never. Weird. I actually you just throw it in front of him. You can't seem to. Can I get up here? It's weird, it kind of doesn't let you grapple everything. Like things like this that kind of look like they really should be Right, like it kind of has a lip, but... Yeah. Like this, you would think you could kind of mm -hmm. grapple up there, but yep. you can't. Weird. So you just kind of can't get up there. You do have like a wall jump that you can use. Mm. You'll never find me here. I bet he's hugging a wall somewhere. Seems like the type that would. I think I actually totally lost him. Huh. Oh, great. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, cool. I'm sure this will go well. Yeah. There's some dogs. Oh boy. <laughs> My favorite. Come here. Ah. Oh man, I really can't see. Yeah. Nope. All right, let's respawn. Oh. Oh. I almost feel like that resurrection mechanic is just a. Oops. That's still got my ceramic shard equipped. A, a, <laughs> con a concession to how hard this game is. Ah. The fact that they're just like, you know what, maybe we just yeah. let him get back in it a couple just, times. You know, not every time, but, you know, occasionally just stand up and keep fighting. You know, I, I appreciate a game with extra lives. Yeah. The concept of a life in a video game is rare, far and few between. Yep. I wonder if I can execute while they're in kind of this patrol state. Nope. And somehow knew I was there. So I see like a black stroke over your other orb there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, you know what? It's just basically a cooldown. Okay. I remember one of the tooltips basically says you can't use it again for a while. This is a bad place to be. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to be here at all. Maybe just get out of here. Can you fire like shurikens at them from the roof? Ooh. Get this guy. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Uh, you can, but they don't do a ton of damage. A little bit. Yeah. I don't know if this is the best idea. Probably have, not. Let's see. I have. I do have these healing pellets, which are not as good as your regular mm. heal, but kind of a heal over time. All right. Let's see mm. if I can maybe peel these guys off and deal with them. Some more maybe guys not. running around the corner to be like, "Hey, what are you doing? Fighting? Great!" Does that guy try to pet the dog? 
Hey, we wanted to pet the dog. Whoa! Like I said, if I wasn't in sloppy quick look mode, uh, like it seems like your best bet is to kind of slowly pick your way through and stealth kill as many people as you can. Yeah. Before situations like this happen. <laughs> but it's not necessarily game over. No, it seems like you can, you know, you're so mobile that, uh, whoa. Mm. It seems like you can kind of deal with it. You know, let's put my shinobi skills to the test. Sure. I fought Spider-Man a bunch of times. Uh, see if I can get myself out of this mess. Do you maybe just want to go past them? But yeah, I mean, uh, yes, that is obviously the ultimate recourse. I just kind of wanted to see if it was possible to fight my way out of this. But yeah, ideally you would not want to get into this kind of mess in the first place. The noise on these guys is really good. They're like, <laughs> I mean, that man is using a tool. D did he... It's not time for that. <laughs> I think I see someone peeking over that fence. Not too soon. Can't see. Uh, nice. How much do you have to worry about in terms of stamina? Can you just keep There swinging? is no stamina, okay. yeah. Oh my god, I just I realized did it. that. Yeah. Like I, I'm, like, I'm hearing you mash the button through the mic and going like, wait a minute. Oh my god. That's not how yeah, you play yeah. these games. Like I said, it is a different game. They basically replaced the stamina meter with the posture meter. Yeah, okay. But it is kind of the reverse, almost. I'm gonna play this. Instead of, yeah, like you can just attack all day long. Mm -hmm. Is this guy drunk? You should probably stab him and, and drink his Wait, blood listen. and... Oh, he's like a drunk zombie. I almost feel bad about this. You're doing him a favor. You know, if you left him alive, maybe he'd wake up the next morning and think it was him and he'd take his own life. Yeah, that's probably how it would go. This game might be pretty good. Seems cool. The, yeah. The more I play it. Uh, How's the level layout seem? Does it seem like those, those kind of Souls games, I, areas connected I, I back upon it, I themselves? Hope it, I hope it gets to that point, but like I said, it's been very linear so far. Yeah. There's not been a lot of exploration, or I don't think I've unlocked a single shortcut yet. Okay. Uh, flame barrel. It's an iron barrel that spews fire. Oh, shit, wait. I should have actually read that whole thing. That seemed like an important item. Uh, it was over one. Oh, yeah, because that is a... That's an upgrade material. Can I... What does that do? Can be fitted to the... Oh, shit. Are you making a gun? Are you making a gun? You're, you're going to mount a flame barrel think, and you just found some gunpowder? I think I might get a gun? Yeah, dude. A fire-based weapon? Okay. I heard that guy hates fire. Uh, they are said to fear fire above all else. Whatever else we do in this video, we're going to go back and craft this before we stop and see what it is. Uh, is it a flamethrower? So they haven't unlocked... So, so when I find one of these that will become an actual new like hand tool, he will just make it for me. Uh -huh. um, but these appear to be upgrade materials. Yeah, base material for prosthetic tool upgrades. Okay. So I think you can reinforce the tools that you already have. Get kind of a plus one to a thing. Yeah, but yeah. all I have right now is... Uh, so you can equip three of them at a time, so there obviously are going to be more than three. Mm -hmm. All I've got right now is this basically throwing star launcher kind of thing. Maybe you have to find like uh, one more piece... Uh, yeah, I, you know, again, at some point they will unlock crafting and I can use those materials to reinforce, but um, it seems like that's where the variability maybe is going to be. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you're not, you're not defining a class. There are no stats in this game other than attack and vitality. Oh, wow. You know, no armor to juggle that I've seen. It seems like it's all about these kind of prosthetic hand tools and unlocking stuff on that skill tree. <laughs> Any equivalent of uh, leaving notes on the ground? No, or there's like, like that? no online features at all, as far as I know. Okay. You don't log into a server at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a point. Should 
Probably go avenge this guy. Oop. You should probably stab those guys. Let's see if I can just kind of quietly work this out. Sadly, you can't like fully yeah. stealth kill. It's it's usually going to wake somebody else up. But you need a silencer for your sword. Or like a silenced pistol. Damn it. Sure. <laughs> Quite gotten a feel for parrying these guys yet. I really like the animations in this. It looks very fluid. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. You're playing on the PS4 Pro. Yeah, this is PS4 Pro. Uh, it seems fine. You know, it, it's gotten just a tiny bit framey here and there. Hmm. No, like settings for performance. Uh, not not at all that I've seen. Um, I think their PC ports have been getting pretty good. Like Dark Souls Three was quite good from yeah. what I remember. Uh, so Do you that, know if it's day and date? Yes, I believe that's the case. It seems like if you have the option, that would be the version to play because it is so timing based, and right. so precise uh, that if you could play it at high frame rate, that's what you'd want to do. Yeah, if you have a machine yeah. capable. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, well, shit. Some of those shields they were talking about. Yeah, split their heads with I your axe. I don't know what to do. I don't have the thing. You don't have the axe? I get, no, I didn't, no, that was a tool tip. Oh. That was just a loading screen tip. He said take, take this yeah, axe. Yeah, the, the dying guy said go to the temple and get the axe. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. I totally wasn't paying attention to what he said. Okay. Probably wasn't important. What's uh? He's probably just making shit up. Let's just go to the t temple, I guess. Yeah, if he knew what they were weak against, why didn't he do it? Yeah, it didn't work out so well for him. That looks like a temple. Hey, no, buddy. That's a guy. I mean, a bod the body is a temple. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Thanks. It's also a wonderland. Ooh, shit. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh shit. You know what that means? I think I know what this means. Oh, can I? Oh, shit, I bet I have I to. I think it means you can't go there. Yeah, I bet it means I have to kill everybody before I can go fight that boss. It's kind of cool because this game is different enough from the Souls games to kind of have its own identity to see what they did and didn't retain. Yeah. I did not expect Fog Doors to be one of those things they kept. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it Jesus. seems like... Oops. I'm not a hardcore Souls guy. But I like that they left, you know, things here and there for the people who honestly would probably be, I don't know, I could, I could see myself being pretty upset if this was like completely 100% different. Yeah. Um, oh, so I guess these are the first thrusting enemies I've actually found. Um, okay. I'm a bit of a thrusting enemy myself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I, I, I unlocked that counter on the skill tree already, so I can at least try to give this a shot. Oh shit. He has two dots. Yeah, that means I have to death blow him twice. Oh, wow. I can't... Wow! That's, uh... That sucks! For me. Uh, Dude, I... Wow, I really can barely see what's going on here. Also, I'm out of healing items. This is fantastic. I don't know if we're actually gonna get to see that boss or not. Son of a bitch. I think we all knew how this was gonna end. I was end. trying to deal with the bow and arrow guy before yeah. I... Fuck. I couldn't even get to him. Mm -hmm. that, that sucks. And, well, uh, yeah. Man, I really wanted to see that axe, but I guess we'll have to save that for another time. All right. Uh, we should go craft that gun. You have yeah, died twice this the... quick look, so I, th I think yeah. you fulfilled your duty. That's true. Duty. Man, that's a bummer. I, I don't want to run this whole estate again, but I really wanted to see what the boss was about. Um, let's get back. Uh, maybe we'll do something else with this next week. Yeah, like I, I said, would love to see some. Some, yeah, I'm, I will certainly -game play stuff. a lot more of this mm. in the weekend. I, it's a, it's a shame we got it in so late. Those overcome with terror are known to die. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be afraid of anything. I've been accumulating terror for 29 years, and yeah. I'm still kicking. Yeah. Uh, but for how long? Well. All right, make me a gun. You sound like a doctor. <laughs> 
No. Present <laughs> flame vent. Hmm. Yo, it's a flamethrower! Yeah! Wow. Hell yeah! Okay. This game seems pretty good. Oh, you want me to put a flamethrower on your arm? Sure, buddy. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? Come to the dilapidated temple, I'll wheeze you out a flamethrower. With my one arm. Okay. Cool. Burn it. Burn them all. Oh, wow. All shields. Oh, man. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I want to see it in action. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Uh, this game is, is a, it's a really pun uh, punishing first couple hours, like really brutally hard. But once you really get a feel for what it wants you to do, I'm mm -hmm. not saying I'm great at it, but I at least kind of understand it now. Uh, it seems pretty good. This guy's great because he can't die. And he's like just like skeleton in Hades. Yeah, and he's basically just like, hey, if you want to beat up on me for sword practice, feel free. It's cool. I don't mind. So. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Okay. So you unlock specific routines for some of the more complicated stuff. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Man. Okay. okay. Seems that like pretty pretty neat. short range. Yeah. Sure. Is he on fire? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a fire. I'm not sure if it's like. Well, does he actually? Oh, what does that damage? mean? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. So. Stabbing. I would imagine being on fire would really fuck up your posture. Yeah. I like how he just gets back up and yeah. makes you keep fighting him again. This is really cool. I yeah can't wait to play it. Yeah, it was it was kind of a, a a steep climb for the first couple three hours, but the more I play it, the more I'm into it. Cool. Uh, it seems pretty good. All right, it seems pretty good. It's out Friday. Let's say. Let's say Friday. Let's release say that. release dates are weird now. Yeah, it's like a was it like one of those Thursday night midnight things? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. It's out. It's out Thursday night Friday. You know how games work. <laughs> Sekiro seems pretty good. Cool. Thanks, Brad.